welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to test the Nikon. Well, it's already in the title. Let's just open up the box. The Nikon 50mm lens for the new Z series. The camera I have been using for the last months is the Nikon Z6 II. And it's a really good camera. I love the face recognition, eye tracking, autofocus mode. Absolutely great, especially with like fast moving babies and toddlers and one year olds during Kixmas sessions and crawling babies during sitter sessions works 90% of the time. Perfect. But it works 90% of the time with my old uh, Nikon 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I've been using the adapter. Outside I've been using the Sigma Art 105 millimeter lens, but also with the adapter. So there's like a piece in between the lens and the camera. These lenses were not made for the new Z camera. So yeah, sometimes the autofocus is struggling a little bit and I can understand. So now I wanna try one of the original lenses made for these type of mirrorless cameras. For outdoor portraits, I might have gotten the 85 millimeter, but I actually wanted to have an extra lens for indoor because indoor I've only been using the 24 to 70 millimeter lens. If ever I drop it, which of course in my life never happens, I never drops off, but I would have no backup lens here. I mean, I have my old 50 millimeter lens, not really happy with it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have that many lenses. I have like a macro lens, but can't really use that one as a backup here in the studio. Also, I wanna create a more blurry background when doing maternity portraits here in the studio, and maybe even cake smashes. Uh, but my 24 to 70 millimeter lens, the largest aperture I can photograph with is 2.8. Doesn't go any wider. Here, 50 millimeter lens, aperture 1.8. So I can photograph hopefully at 1.8 and still have like a 99% hit rate. That would be amazing because now out of safety, I almost never photograph at 2.8. I go to like 3.2 because then I am more sure that the camera is nailing focus. Um, but of course, I want to photograph at 1.8 because I want that beautiful blurry background. So this one is not really expensive. I mean, it is still quite a lot of money, but now if you compare it to the other lenses. This one was like 450, 465, somewhere between 450 and 500 euros. And then I don't have to use my adapter, which is also great because there's a lot of traveling coming up. We have bought something so amazing to travel and explore the country and other countries. And I want to photograph a lot, but outside I've been using my Sigma Art and it's huge and heavy. So I want to be able to use this one outside as well, but also in smaller spaces without having to like cramp into the walls. With 105, I have to have quite a lot of distance between the person I'm photographing and myself in the studio that just doesn't work. That's why I've been using a 24 to 70 in the studio. But I want to try this one in the studio and outside as well. Not as like the ultimate portrait lens, because then I might have gotten the 8-5mm, but just as an all-round lens, which would be great. Oh, shiny. It's not as small as the other 50mm lens, which is okay. This one still looks pretty decent. It's not as light. It's a little bit heavier, probably. But it's still like a smaller size lens than the 105, which is huge, but beautiful. But huge, but beautiful. Uh, I'm going to grab my camera, put it on, and maybe get my daughter here for a few photos, or um, just wait until tomorrow because then I have case mesh session. The rest of the week I have case mesh newborn maternity sessions, so I can test it out, show you behind the scenes, show you final images. It's gonna be cool to start using it for the first time during a real case mesh session because of course I cannot zoom in and out with this lens. I have to move backwards and forwards. Um, so I want to see how that goes, but I mean, I've been using the 24 to 70 millimeter lens, 50 millimeter is pretty much in the middle, so I thought that would be okay. Because then with an 85 millimeter lens, I would have to back up a lot, and I don't have that much space here in my studio, so I'm super excited. So yeah, here's the 24 to 70 millimeter lens, here are the 50 millimeter lens. So you see the difference in size. I didn't get like a protective, um... Uh, UV filter or anything. I completely forgot to order that. Filter size is 62 millimeter. It's actually really a lot smaller. You see? 
just compare it sigma art 105 millimeter with the new 50 millimeter this part is like adapter <laughs> it looks so small now so this is the nikon z62 with the new 50 millimeter lens once we start traveling this is so nice to take with me because it's so lightweight and small and awesome but yeah let's uh, see if i can get a model already 100% hit rate I'm pretty sure I only took one photo at a time because checking sharp okay so today I want to test the 50 millimeter lens for the first time during an actual kicksmith session uh, especially during the portrait photos at the beginning and if I then realized I can't really zoom in and out that much because of course I have to do the zooming because it's a primer lens and I'll switch to my 24 to 70 millimeter lens but the portrait photos at the beginning are extra anyway they're just to relax the baby so i can test out my new lens just getting ready now okay so here we have today's dinosaur decor and then the um just like leaves garland in the back and then of course we have the second decor which is a bamboo bed on the dark wood i'm just gonna place a blanket inside and then we're done so I have my 24 to 70 millimeter lens right here so I can change if it's necessary with the adapter. Of course, now that I'm photographing with a larger aperture, I can uh, lower my ISO because I get more light in the image. Okay, so I think I definitely have to back up a little bit more uh, when I want to take horizontal photos like zoomed out normally. Um, I'm just going to see how far I can move back and forth and how it'll go. Um, super curious because I love the blurry backdrop in this case. you could see but I didn't um, intend it on doing this but I just shot the entire cake smith session with the 50 millimeter lens and it's great like it, it works fine like yeah I lean backwards um, when I take a horizontal photo of the whole decor and I have to lean forward when I want to take a close-up but it's all within reach of actual where I'm sitting and um, I love it. And the camera focuses really well on the eyes, like the face tracking autofocus method. Um, so the camera is doing most of the work. Now, of course, as a photographer, you're still interacting with the child, which is like 90% of what you do. And then like being creative in the angles that you choose and the horizontal and the vertical and the, from the top and a close up and the feet. And that's you as a photographer, but the moving the autofocus point 
that's what the camera is doing and with this lens it's working really well and i do turn it off when i take a close-up of the foot or sometimes even when i take a close-up of the eyelashes because the camera gets confused like what do you want to focus on i don't see a face i only see a foot even taking a photo of the cake the camera can 80 percent of the time determine that the cake is in focus and the background is blurry so it's not just face and eye tracking autofocus but also just cake tracking autofocus i don't know so I did turn it off when I was taking a photo of the foot uh, and then I turned it back on and it worked well and I could shoot with a lower like a lower ISO because I was shooting with a larger aperture. I shot the entire session at 1.8 and I'm not scared of getting photos that are um, not in focus or not sharp. I checked in between a few times, they were super sharp and crisp so that's great. And I love the blurriness of the background. It's a big difference, 1.8. I was shooting before always at 3.2. And of course, zooming in at 70 millimeter, you do get a beautiful blurry background. But I really like this, shooting the entire session at 1.8 and changing my ISO if I need more or less light in the photo. So yeah, I love the lens. I might do a newborn session as well with the 50 millimeter lens. I don't know yet. I could. I have a newborn session tomorrow, so I might use it. Um, so I might um, preview it in a separate video. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Uh, just my first impression of the 50 millimeter lens. And oh yeah, just to clarify, no one sponsored me. <laughs> I didn't get that lens. Uh, Nikon didn't approach me like, do you want to test out the lens? You get it for free or whatever. We're going to pay you to test out the lens. No, I bought the lens with my own money and I wish it would sponsor me but nothing is sponsored in this video just to clarify thank you